This is really, you said the last talk show you did was like, I don't know, another decade ago, but you yes. used to come to this lot to audition all the time. Oh my gosh, completely. I would park at gate three and then I would scoot on over. And what was so nice is the security guards here would always say, break a leg, we hope you get it. So to drive in today was very different. <laughs> but they, you auditioned that often that they knew you to say break a leg? I think they probably said it to everybody. That's oh, how I nice see. they were. Yeah, I see. <laughs> yeah. um, so your car that you used to drive to auditions was a very... Um, a very oh. special car. Yes, it had a life of its own. So I had this very, very old Ford Explorer Sport. And at a certain point, the, the key stopped working on the driver's side. So you couldn't get yourself in through the door. So after auditions, I would park at the back of the parking lot. And I would open the trunk and climb in <laughs> and then pull it shut behind me and crawl over all my seats to get out. That's how I would come to and fro. <laughs> Oh my God. I know, so it was not did ideal. Did anyone ever see, I know you parked far away, but did anyone ever see you climb through a trunk? No, to get... no, I would play it off. I would go like, oh, I'm just looking for my resume and my <laughs> highlighters for my script. Oh, maybe it's back there. And, and then, then crawl. Just... <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Oh God. The things we do. That's, uh, we, we met, um, God, I don't know how many years ago that, how long ago a was that? A long time ago, well before I was even on Suits, I think over a decade ago, maybe, right? <laughs> But we met at a pet shop. Yes. And I was going there to rescue a dog, and it was right around Christmas time, and you would come in at the same time, and you just looked at me and said, are you getting that dog? Get that dog. You have to take that dog home. I was like, well, if Ellen said I have to take the dog <laughs> home, I'm getting this dog. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even, I, obviously, I didn't know who you were. I just, I just love people rescuing pets, so as soon as you were holding the dog, I was like, take it. Take it. it. I said, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I will. Yeah, did. I did. I, I love listened. That. I love that. Um, I, obviously, we are neighbors, so we see each other a lot. Yeah. Um, and I love that y'all moved here, and mm -hmm. Harry is loving it, right? He loves it. What's he love so much about California? Well, we moved here during lockdown. I mean, exactly when things shut down. So we've just been able to spend a lot of time at home and creating our home, but I think it's just the lifestyle and, you know, the weather's pretty great. Um, but we're just happy. Yeah, that's not them there. That's not, <laughs> that, oh. that's not your backyard. That is not our backyard. That was at our, when we announced we were engaged. That was a long time ago. Yeah. So you've been married. You've been married for three years, but when y'all were dating, you had to really keep it quiet. And, yes. And you went to a. You got to go to a Halloween party. <laughs> we did. He came to see me in Toronto, and um, and our friends and his cousin Eugenie, and now her husband Jack. They came as well, and the four of us snuck out in Halloween costumes to just have one fun night on the town before it was out in the world that we were a couple. So you went with Harry to a Halloween party, and they had no idea it was the two of you. No. It was a, a post-apocalypse theme, so we had all of this very bizarre costuming on, and we were able to just sort of have one final fun night out. Now, there are people at home going, I was at that party. Oh, they, right, they, exactly. they, I'm sure. They're like, I was at the post-apocalypse party. That In was Toronto. Yeah. Which ones were they? Yeah. Um, and we kept saying, this Halloween, we were like, this is your chance. You can go out. You can get dressed up and actually go out, but y'all chose to stay home this year. We were year. home and we saw, we saw you guys, which was great, but no, we wanted to do something fun for the kids and then the kids were just not into it at all. Archie was a dinosaur for maybe five minutes. Not, no, not even five <laughs> not minutes. Not even five minutes. He, he put, finally, Harry talked him into putting the head on, um, but Lily was a skunk. She was a little skunk. It was so cute. I know, like flower from Bambi. We just <laughs> but Lily is now teething, so you're not, yeah. you didn't sleep last night. I no. love that you're here, but um, oh, of course. you're not sleeping at all. Well, she's a good sleeper, but the teeth are coming in, so, you know, any moms will understand that, where you go, they might be the best sleeper in the world, and then the moment that that's happening, you just have so much sympathy for them. So yes, I've been up most of the night. But that thing that when I was uh, giving her that, that's a great teething thing. I'm sure everyone knows this, but when you put it in the freezer and it's cold and oh, it's on yeah. their gums, that really soothed her. That's great. Or old school style, you just take a washcloth and dip it in some apple juice, or right? All the moms are nodding. You go, anything, anything to relieve that. Tequila, them. anything. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't tried that yet, yep. I don't know. If that's Auntie Ellen for you. Yep, that's right. <laughs> that's why I don't have kids. Yeah. <laughs> and Archie is, he seems very interested in her, but there was, it was a weird day because he was, he, they hadn't been sleeping. They hadn't but been is he sleeping. a good uh, big brother? He loves being a big brother. I think it's just, you know, everyone tells you, well, actually someone told, the t told H and I that 
when you have one kid, it's a hobby, and two children is parenting. <laughs> and suddenly we realized, oh, right, everyone talks about what it's like for the second child, but no one talks about the adjustment for the first child yeah. when the second one comes along. So yeah. I think they have that moment of like, oh, this is fun. Oh, this is how it is now. Well, he's so sweet. <laughs> he's so sweet. All right, we're going to take a break more with Megan after this.